Okay, this will be the last video in our series of dealing with the root 3 uh, under the circumstance of single phase load loads on three phase systems in underbalanced conditions. So uh, let's, let's uh, analyze a particular problem with all of the information we've learned up until this point and see how we can work through it effectively. So let's say in this, pr this problem we have a uh, Y source uh, connected to a load. <coughs> Once again, single phase load on a three phase system. Uh, this load is connected line to line, as you can see in the circuit diagram there. Uh, and let's apply some givens. We have a uh, line voltage of 208 volts, and we have a current of 11 amps. Now you may be asking yourself, why didn't I give you the particular type of current for this problem? Why didn't I say phase current or line current? Well, let's re re review our previous video's flowchart to see why that's an insignificant um, element to discuss at this particular, uh, for this particular circuit. If we see that we have a Y source, we know with Y sources that the line current and the phase current match. They're equal. So it really doesn't matter if I tell you that it's line current or phase current. It's just current. So we're going to solve for power at the load. So moving along our flow chart, now that we understand the current is, um, under, is understood, we need to ask ourselves, uh, what is the nature of this load? We can see in the circuit diagram that it is a line-to-line -line connected. It is not line-to-neutral. So we need to ask ourselves then the question, is the voltage that we have been supplied with matching the connection type of the load? If you see, we have line voltage, and our load is connected line-to-line, -line, not connected line-to-neutral. So that means we do have a yes. Now from our previous uh, work in the flowchart, we realized that if we can answer yes to that particular question, then root 3 is not required in our power calculation. There's no need to convert voltage from one thing to another. We have the line voltage, and we have a line-to-line -line, uh, connection. So we use the straight P equals VI power calculation apply the, the uh, givens to that formula, and do straight algebra. Very simple, very clean and tidy. We end up with this um, amount at the end. The big thing to recognize here is, did you realize as you were looking at this problem that root 3 was, would not be involved? It's just as important to know when to use the root 3 as when not to use the root 3. And the evidence of this circuit diagram demonstrating line voltage and a line-to-line -line connection uh, shows us that root 3 is not required. And obviously, having apply if you would have applied a root 3 willy-nilly, just tacked it on somewhere to your equation, you would have gotten this one wrong. So keep sharp on these ones.